we're very blessed that we're living in, a, in, in such a transformative era for Saudi Arabia. And I'd like to be a voice that represents Saudi Arabia in a better way. كل حد بيمر بنفس الحاجه yes. بس ما حدش بيتكلم عليها خالص mm-hmm. and all they need is one to know that there's someone else is experiencing that so it's okay because it's a normal part of being human and alive mm-hmm. where do i get advice like how do i know how to navigate this it's very interesting how some experiences just show you who you are and and, and change your uh, change your life yeah. i came back as a 10 year old kid from the us okay. not speaking arabic and thrown into a school that was all Arabic. I had to make new friends, and, and quite honestly, I, I did not make new friends. You had trouble connecting with people? I had trouble expressing who I am, yeah. and, and because I did not express who I am, I just think that others did not feel I'm interesting. You're experiencing that, that's your nudge to say, okay, why do I feel like this? How do I grow? How do I evolve? What is it that I need to do with my life? so that I can come out of that spot. I remember a professor of mine who just came to me once and, and said, I want to see you after class. And I went to him and he said, you have a great ability in writing that I rarely see in people at your age. You have a clear thinking that is manifested in yeah. how you write. It is my mission to help you get that same level of mastering communication Uh, by speaking mm. and he said there's a speech competition something like the Toastmasters kind okay. of uh, it's happening in two months and I'm going to coach you and you're going to participate in that the theme of the competition was something a bit more scientific as we were preparing etc I told him you told me to be open and I want to be open with you there's something this was 1994 my second year in college and Saudi Arabia qualified for the first time to the World Cup That was, that was just huge for my generation, right? Going to the World Cup. Of course. And I said, I want to talk about that. And I could see fireworks in his eyes. And, his, and he said, that's not allowed in the competition, but I'm going to make an exception for you. I participated. I made a speech about how proud we are yeah. as a generation to witness our national team qualifying for 1994. 1994. Amazing. And it was very emotional. And it was like a standing ovation, and that was a moment that changed my life. And I can imagine what that did for you, because I understand exactly what happened mm. to you, because that exact same thing happened to me as a kid. From that moment on, what shifted in you? There was one part that relieved me that it's okay to be more public and more social. Yeah. But I think that, that experience uh, gave me a purpose in life. I can translate what happens in my mind, but I know it's happening in other people's minds. Yeah. And I can speak about it. And if that helps me and helps other people, mm. that's an amazing thing to, yeah. to have. I know this experience is very pivotal for you. What do you believe your life's purpose is? What do you want your legacy to be? Uh, I just enjoy uh, voicing out what my generation and my people and my country and my family would want to get out to the, uh, to the world.